Decide immediately. Decide immediately. The circle of nature described by the philosopher Schopenhauer throughout and everywhere the real symbol of nature is the circle because it is the pattern of recurrence. In fact, this is the general form in nature because it performs in everything, from the running of the stars to the death and the emergence of organic life. When you digitize something or producing data, we call it also datafication uh, process, you have a simple line. Uh, you need a sensor, you need some connectivity. Connectivity means that you send information to each other, that means also communication. Then you build up a network of it. Then, of course, you produce data from this network itself. And uh, it's quite important for the digital world that you also do it in a secure way, that nobody else, just this person should read the data which has the right to do that. And then you apply it to different kind of industry. In our focus today, it's the bio-based industry, agriculture, forest, it's just a way, it's a standard uh, value chain, this IT value chain where you can digitize something. If we really want a balance between ecology and economy, and we must use sustainable technology, you will immediately ask, how much can it cost? Can we afford it? Who pays for that? We need investors on the private side, companies, who want uh, to earn a profit. It's fair in our current understanding. Or we need the state, but the states are in debt. Uh, they're indebted. Where do they get the money? From the taxpayers? Not any longer. So actually they did not know anything about They knew their problem. And their problem were huge. First of all, they have still tribes which are going from, uh, from Nigeria to Senegal. So they are migrating together with their animals. Uh, when they do not have money, they are s cutting one sheep or one cow and they are buying uh, mobile phone uh, minutes to communicate. They do not know how to read and write, most of them. I'm talking about animal breeders. And they are targeted also by the people which believe that their crops are in danger, and they are, when the animal pass to their property, properties. The real problem, of course, is that the, in, in my view, is that the planet doesn't have any legal personality, uh, nor do, do their elements, like rivers or mountains. So if you um, inflict damages to the planet, uh, only if you have a legal person, like a company or, or a person themselves, if they can uh, prove that they had damages in their own property or in their own uh, health, uh, they can ask for damages. But the, pl the planet itself doesn't have any legal personality, doesn't have the chance to go to court and isn't a legal entity. But um, this is now uh, an online tool where you can put in the, the time and the for we did it for one granule in Styria and you can put in the time for which you want to have the changes and then it calculates you the changes and then you can download it and view it on the map. Um, another change uh, area is bark beetle damage, which we have a lot of problems. Also I heard in Czech Republic there's a lot of uh, problems with that and here is an example from Lower Austria. Uh, and we can also detect those um, quite well with um, our time series. This is an example here you can see with the aerial images because you m most people are not so uh, familiar with the sentinel data to, to have a look at, but um, this is quite clear that here are um, the trees are, are dead or already recolored. And this is the result which we get from the satellite. So you create a new simulation file, uh, select uh, from the defined crop list before, um, drag them over to your field, um, select a type of cultivation, uh, 
from, for example, conventional to direct seeding and so on, which needs to be predefined. <coughs> and after that, you need to assign the activities and including their resources. Smart AgriHubs is created in cooperation of three companies, Plan for All, Wireless Info, and Cup of Osiach, uh, with intention of supporting and furthering smart agriculture in Africa. You can see the uh, layout of the Smart AgriHub portal. The idea of the Silk Road is more than 2,000 years. It was already done back in uh, third century before the Christ. So the problem is that it was only from the eastern part of China until the um, location of Sa Istanbul right now. The problem is that it could be much, much bigger and it could connect Moscow, it could connect Vienna, it could connect Paris, it could connect all parts of the world. So it, it could be the biggest infrastructure and anthropogenic project in the history of humankind. So the largest project I told you was the machine cooperatives uh, and the machine cooperatives is a good cooperative model. How many farmers can work together? I ex explained this sample. Uh, one tractor can manage 500 hectares. The average farm in Austria is 500 hectares. Please ask the farmer he should buy a 0.05% of a tractor. Uh, you only can work with cooperation. Without cooperation, not possible. Uh, and the reason why we are a cooperative is the mountains. In the mountains, the pressure to cooperate because the nature could be very rough. You have to cooperate because when you go alone on a mountain, you don't come back, you are disappeared. Nobody finds you again. So that's that the learning process we had in the mountains rather early. <laughs>